health solution that suits you. Welcome back to Nationwide and to the first of our fortnight of programmes with stories from the Wild Atlantic Way, which this year celebrates its 10th birthday. This evening we are in County Donegal and there is no shortage of wonderful and interesting places to visit and things to see and to do in this part of the Northwest. Donegal has a beautiful coastline with so many unique experiences to discover. We met a man on the Atlantic coast near Malinhead who developed an unusual family fun day out. A herd of Peruvian alpacas racing across a Donegal hillside isn't exactly what you might expect to see up here. This is Nogamani Benz on the cusp of the Wild Atlantic Way's most northerly route. And these are its most recent inhabitants, Irish-born alpacas. And they're the stars of the Wild Alpaca Way. A short trek over the hill with your very own alpaca. John McGonigal bought the hill a few years ago from a local farmer. And when he retired, he came up with the idea of an alpaca walk. When I bought the hill, uh, I knew it had potential. Probably at the time, people thought it was around the twist working animals up a hill. And there's a big change from, from the building site. Uh, I, I worked in the buildings probably all my life. But uh, when you had 50, uh, you, you start to creak a bit. And uh, so we're back. So I was kept thinking out to the box, like, what could I do? I would do it a hundred times over. It's the best thing I've done in my life. Well, we started out with two. Now we have about 34 boys and 15 girls. We are brought up on a small, small farm and uh, we, we had a few sheep and, and a few cattle. And you would know the sort of the, the simple things that you had to do with the, the cows and the sheep. And alpacas is the same thing. As far as alpacas go, they're definitely more friendly than sheep or cows. They love the attention and the visitors. Each alpaca gets to go on three walks a day and visitors young and not so young get to walk their own alpaca. This is a slow meander along a mountain path with some of Donegal's most stunning views below. Five Fingers Strand and Trabrega Bay. The alpacas take it all in their stride, happy to pose for selfies even on a bad hair day. The alpacas lives in the Andes and they will do minus 25 in the winter time. When they're sheared in the summertime, it keeps them at 20 degrees the whole summer. So really round here it's not minus 25, but it, it gets minus two or three probably, which is not too bad. This is ideal for them round here. They're just like people. You'll get the very calm ones and you'll get the fiery ones. Uh, the very calm ones, like we have children now walking them and they keep their arms around them, they can lie beside them for photographs. Every day you do the walk, they're really getting that little bit calmer every day. The stunning views are really, that's a big selling point because up at the very top of the hill, we'll get children of young as four and five, saying, mommy, daddy, look at the views, the views are stunning. So when children picks up on the views, it says it all. We get people back maybe three, four or five times. One local group are frequent visitors. Eye Care is a support organisation in Inishowen for autistic children. They just love the alpacas and the alpacas love them back. It's a real treat for the children and their carers. A day out like this, Mary, is just wonderful for the children. The sensory development here and just the whole surrounding is brilliant. The alpacas are so patient. Um, unlike people, alpacas and animals are very direct, which the young people love. There's no that social pressure or anything, and it just suits our children. So that guided walk around, it gives them a bit of an independence that we're not holding on to them. It gives them their own time with the animal. They, they just really love petting and cuddling and everything else. They just really, really love it. 
we're so so lucky to have a great community around us and organization like John's that support our organization um, for example last year we were here a few times and instead of charging us John put it back into our center and our children got free sessions out of it a day here is amazing but to have the continued support is just unbelievable and we're so so thankful to Willa Pack Away. This is a family run business with local involvement and when they're not in school John's two sons Danny and Sean have become dab hands at managing the alpacas. We feed them now once a day just they get a uh, hay and the uh, grass, they eat the grass with the fields here and then uh, you inject them then with vitamin D, the black ones need vitamin D injections because the sun can't get to their skin, through their skin properly and uh, we have to grind their teeth down and then other than that we shear them once a year in May or June time and uh, clip their toenails as well every couple of months. Uh, they all have names. Everyone right? has names, yeah. Uh, the first two we got were uh, Badger and Bounce. And then uh, we got ones called then Chestnut, Nile, Mojo, Mojo. But it's sort of, we started, you know, with the Badger and Bounce, and then we got the Chestnut and Mojo, and they were that far through with 41 of them, we're up to like, John Joe, <laughs> and I think there's an Elvis in there. I, I enjoy working here now, like, you're meeting different people from all over the world, from Vietnam to Belfast, like, they're just there all over the world, like. Well, I'm from Tipperary, but we're, and my husband's from Cork. We're living in Mitchelltown in Cork. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's such a unique experience. Like just walking along with the alpacas, they're gorgeous and they're so friendly and relaxed. And the views is just, it's amazing. And, you know, sometimes we'd be worried about doing something like this with a buggy, but it's so easy with a buggy. And John and all the lads, they're just such lovely. It's a really, really great experience. My lovely girlfriend back there, book this uh, alpaca way tour for the children and it's amazing uh, beautiful views it's great uh, to be with the animals you know and uh, we're loving it so far so yes I'm Cleona from Belfast and I came on the um, alpaca trail today with my mom and my niece and as young as my little girl Fia who's two um, so it was just a fantastic day out for everybody, honestly, from old to young. Not a, not a crazy walk for people, and they're just so friendly. Like, it just had a brilliant day. It was really, really good. John hopes to develop the business further. One alpaca sheared once a year yields enough fibre to knit four or five sweaters. Alpaca fibre, not wool, I'm told, is an expensive commodity and much sought after. Local businessman Tony Doherty exports sweaters from any shown around the world. We know from our own business that people are looking for softer and softer fibres. And alpaca has a lot of qualities. Uh, it's much better and softer than wool. It is, it's a hollow fibre, so it holds the heat, it traps the heat inside the fibre. I, I approached a few spinners and finally we, we come across one in particular who said, yeah, we can take this raw material, we can turn it into something for you. They've taken this material here, which you see is just a clip fiber of, of one alpaca. Each bag represents one alpaca for one year, okay? About five kilo of raw material. They have taken it, they have brushed it, and turned it into this here, slivers of, of, of alpaca wool. A local person did this by hand, in fact, and uh, it's a perfect garment, as people will buy it. It's well worth the money. We also can make socks with it. This will be a very good business in five years time. Hand knitting is a big business at the moment. People want to use authentic natural products. This is one of them. And so from that point of view alone, there's enough business to keep, keep, keep this place uh, emptied every year. And should you find yourself on the northern tip of the Wild Atlantic Way, do seek out these lovable creatures. What a great business and a great family fun day out. And one example of the many businesses that have been developed here along the Donegal Wild Atlantic Way. Well, Shin Zed and Glower, I hope you enjoyed it this evening. Oh, hello, and our nationwide. Hasta luego, Slomagi.